Is your trailer really starting to stink like an outhouse? It turns out the factory Dometic 300 is faulty. And I'm going to upgrade because I believe it's the only way to fix this problem. Stick around. Now, before we begin, I want to let you know that I went down that YouTube rabbit hole that you're probably in right now. I took my toilet off. I tore it all apart. I cleaned it. I bleached it. I put the silicone around the seals and put it all back together. And guess what? A year later, I'm changing the toilet now. So I'm going to show you how I am going to just solve this problem by upgrading to the 310. All right. Now, how do you know if you have that faulty toilet? First of all, it's the Dometic 300 series. I'm about to show you where you can see if it is the Dometic 300 series. And I'm also going to show you how to do it without some fancy camera to look down the back. Now let's have a look at this toilet and get to work. The best way I can explain it is there's a label down in here to the very bottom on the inside of the toilet that tells you the make, model, year, everything you need to know about this toilet. Now this is where the old VIN number is of my old toilet. And as you may know, this seal here is the culprit. And what happens is there is an inner bowl and an outer bowl. What you see here is the outer bowl and there's an inner bowl that are completely separate and that space in between fills up with urine and waste just human waste and it smells awful what you're wondering is how can i tell if this toilet is leaking well obviously the smell the smell is going to be a dead giveaway this toilet stinks Everybody I've seen on YouTube has some fancy camera that they shove in the back. You don't need that. You're out camping, you're in the woods. Grab a stick, come on, be smart, save money. Spending it on a new toilet anyway, aren't we? So, there we go. That's exactly what we need. I'm gonna shove it. There is a hole right here. And we're just gonna shove this down in there. It can be a little tricky. That's okay. Come on now. There we go. Maybe this is just a bit. Stick it in there, just wiggle it around. Eventually you'll get to the bottom. There we go. Wiggle it around. Can we feel anything? And we'll pull it out. And what do we got? Oh. You know what? Before we go any further, I forgot one important tool. Gloves. We're going to want some gloves for this job. All right. There we go. Oh, it fell out. Yuck. And look at that. And believe me, if I had a smell of meter, it would be off the charts. It's all soaked with human waste. It's disgusting. Yuck. Let's get rid of this. My biggest problem was, will that toilet that I just bought fit? Are the two going to jive? Because I've heard the offsets and all of these mathematic equations that are so complex. I figured it out, it was just so simple. I went in to an actual store and took this toilet out of the box and measured it. And I'll show you how. There is something to be said about going into a store and actually looking and holding something with your hands. Now the offset from here to the wall had to be 9 and 5 eighths for the Dometic 310. Now the warnings I was getting is will it fit? So the best way I could do that was to measure from the wall to this bolt right here which is this in the center of the flange so when I measured this one what did I get I got 10 inches on center of that bolt when I was in the store my one condition is 
I will buy this toilet right here and right now and I will spend the money if I can take it out of the box and measure one thing. And of course that one thing that I wanted to measure was to that center of the bolt. Now as you can see this is flush up against the back of my cabinet. Here is the bolt that I need to know and I measured that and what I have here is just over nine I would call it nine and one quarter inches to the center of this bolt here now it will be tight but it should fit I have the water shut off so what I need to do is I need to make sure that there's no pressure behind the system and while that's draining I'm going to come over here make sure that there is no pressure behind that might as well turn this on perfect okay now that we've got it all drained let's undo this oh look at that it's still only hand tight from the last time I had this off obviously you're gonna want that bowl to catch the remaining water in the line. Now that's just clean water, so we're not all too concerned about the bowl. Oh, hopefully it's big enough. Now, the one thing I did want to point out before I take this toilet off is I believe what happens is every time you get on and off this toilet, it makes that creaky sound. It not only wakes the whole trailer up, and that is what is allowing the waste to go in between the two seals and fill up that inner bowl. So every time you get up in the middle of the night and you sit down and you do your business, even I sit down because there's a bunk right here. And I don't want that sound of me going to the washroom wake up my, my child. So, as I'm sitting here in the middle of the night, I believe that is allowing that waste. Even though I'm about to flush it, it's still allowing that waste to go in between the two bowls. Now, before we get started, this is what I believe you will need okay so I have my electric impact driver obviously a big black garbage bag to bag up the old toilet so we don't have any messes uh, the measuring tape to make sure that it will fit this is the new hardware for uh, the new toilet a standard or flathead screwdriver a 7 16 and a 3 8 socket so that I can take off and put on the new nuts on the new bolts and all of that hardware. Um, I also have a, oh, this one is a metric adjustable. And if we flip it over, oh no, it is not Imperial. So we have to be careful. If you're in the States, you want a, the Imperial adjustable. This one is metric. I am in Canada. So there you go. Let's see what we can do. I also brought my overpriced flashlight, so hopefully this will help. Oh, this thing stinks so bad. Okay, what do we got? 7 16 if you don't have one of these, just doing it by hand with anything will do, but I have the fancy tools, so let's see if it'll work for me. do the exact same to the other side but I won't be able to film it because it's way too tight
Here goes nothing. Nice and gentle. Straight outside. You will want to put something there for the time being. So what I have here is a Dometic 310 series, which is the upgrade from the 300 series. Now this one is a ceramic toilet. So hopefully it looks a lot nicer and smells a lot better than the 300. Look at this thing. Would you look at this thing. Look at those. Designed to give you a nice swirl. See all the lube? Look at all that grease down in there to make sure it isn't going to mess up. Oh man. I never thought I'd be so excited about a toilet. Hold up, wait a minute. The seal. Okay, we're good. Whew, that could have been dangerous. See the new brand on this one? my experience to always start with the hard side get it done first all right Get this back on there. There's my two favorite girls. Hey, Dada. What do we got going on here, Lori? Look how big you're getting. Look, a new potty. Yeah. Good, I'm about to turn on the water. I'm gonna go turn on the water. Wash my hands. wash all my tools down and my camera here goes nothing mom that's nice it's quiet one that is yeah. super quiet. <laughs> Means mom won't have to like lay there in pain because Lori's sleeping and mommy doesn't want to go to the bathroom and flush Yay. and wake you up. Right? Yay! And oh it doesn't squeak. No squeaking. <gasps> Woohoo! Yay! Yeah Lori? So we've got a potty that doesn't squeak, stink, and isn't loud. <gasps> Yeah. It's a trifecta. Ceramic. Oh, no soft clothes. No, that, that was the only downside of getting this toilet. We can eventually upgrade the toilet seat mm. to a whisper quiet. But 
it was available in town for pickup. Yes. So that beats. Like I told waiting. our viewers, there is something seriously great about being able to go open a box and look at stuff, measure it before mm -hmm. you purchase. Exactly. And you get it right then and there. We put it in the back of the truck and away we went. Right, Lori? Yeah, doy doy. Just a revised. These are the tools that I used, as well as the big black garbage bag that the other toilet is in at the moment. So, what we have is some channel locks to get the pipe off, just in case it's a little uh, tight to do by hand. I'm talking about the fresh water for flushing. An adjustable just in case that's only if you do not have the 11 16 wrench. I ended up using this instead of my big fancy drill because it was just easier to get into the tight spaces. And this standard or flathead screwdriver just to pop the caps off. And then gloves for sanitary reasons. All in all, if I was to do this job without filming it, it's probably only about a half an hour, start to finish, and that's if things go kind of wrong. I am very happy with how this turned out so far. Hopefully this toilet lasts a lot longer and is a lot better than our old 300 series. Well, let's wrap up this video. I'm super excited about how this all worked out. Now, you can find the 310 series on Amazon you can also find it in Canadian Tire if you're in Canada, home hardware as well. Now I bought this model at Canadian Tire. Uh, at the time of filming this, it was $330. Walk into the store, walk out with it. Is your RV? No, no. Is your, mm -hmm. 310. What I have here is the Dometic 310 series, and this is, what the f*** is this? It's not porcelain, it's, um, Oop. ceramic. Jeez Louise, I'm dumb. Oh, every time I open a garbage bag, I got a 50-50 chance. 50-50. And every time I open it the wrong way. Wow. Very nice. Sound like Borat. Look at all the lube down in this. Mom, she's a beautiful thing. It's got these fancy little swirl. Ooh. I know. And I've never been so excited about a toilet. <laughs> Yeah, really never been so excited about a potty. <laughs> yes, it's a poopy job, Mom. You're very funny.